Hello guys and welcome to another quick teaching of Kundalini Yoga. Kundalini Yoga has an amazing effect on the body, um, but it's a very deep um, kind of the yoga. So I'm going to try to do like bite-sized ideas and movements and breathing techniques for you to get yourself maybe a little bit more familiarized with it or see even how does it affect your body. So the next exercise, uh, it's a spinal stretch uh, with a breathing technique. Um, but for two reasons, I highly recommend this exercise to anyone who sit a lot further if it's driving or sitting because your job requires you to sit. So first of all, it's amazing how it reconstructs your spine and help you ease the pain from your lower back. As well as if you sit a lot, you may feel that your tummy is not as stoned as usually. So even with the simple breathing technique, you will find that your tummy is actually can be trained. And killing two birds at one stone, getting rid of back pain and working on the flat abs, it's a total win. So let's do this exercise together with me. I want you to just bring your hands into the front and choose a prospect seat position that it's comfortable for you. This is comfortable for me, but if you find a different prospect seated pose that works for you, do that. It's not about showing off now. So we're going to bring the hands to the front and here's what we're going to do. We're going to breathe out around the back, breathe in, bring it forward. So you're kind of arching the back. So let me show you from the side how does this exactly look like. Okay. So we go, breathe out, round, breathe in, and back. And then, out, and then. Now, you keep going with the breathing, and what I want you to do is start close down your eyes. In Kundalini Yoga, we practice a lot of these movements with eyes closed. And what I want you to do, while we're doing this, give yourself meditation. Focus on your breathing, okay? So when you close your eyes, and go out, powerful breath, in, and out, and in, and out, and in, and in. You keep going with your exercises, and here is what I would do. I'll set myself a timer in here for, let's say, two minutes, okay? And after the two minutes, uh, I'm going to stop doing the exercises. So all I want you to do is build this practice into your morning or your evening or your afternoon routine when you feel like you need a little bit of a movement. It's also really good, by the way, to get your digestive system working. So it's a nice idea to do this before you go for your lunch break. And all you need is two to three minutes. So let's do this with me now, okay? Add the nose and the mouth. In the nose, out the nose. Let's speed it up. And if you don't have the timer next to you, I find it super easy to literally trying to do one breath and a minute. So I'm going to count in my head for 120, which is giving me two minutes of the breathing exercise. And as you keep doing it, focusing on the breathing and focusing on what's happening in your tummy, how it's awakening your internal organs and how it's releasing your spine from the position that you're always in. And if you feel good, let it rock a little bit on the tailbone and make sure that you get the breathing going powerful because bringing oxygen to your body is one of the most important things. And Kundalini Yoga teaching focusing a lot on the breath. And we're talking about the breath in a way that if your breath is shallow, your nervous system is not working properly and uh, your brain won't function properly, your organs won't fun function properly. So the base of yoga in every kind of a yoga is always breathing. So this time, make sure that you're focusing on more and get quality, strong breath in. And out. 
And again, don't be afraid to be a loud breather. And give me the last 10 guys. Daily life.